All right, let's check out the rest of Dream On. This is part two. We're just going to go back like we're playing the beginning, okay? Just like the intro. We have the same chord. You're going to pluck with middle and ring fingers and then play the third string with your pick. So you've got hybrid picking here. Every time I look in the mirror, same chords. time the past is gone fourth time okay this is the part right before he goes into the chorus now this time it's going to be different Just slide your first finger to the third fret. And then bring your third finger in. And then go back. And then this time, just slide your third finger, first finger down to the third fret. But this time, don't bring your third finger in. So you have... that little bum, 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 bum. eight times this time so two measures full and three and four and now we're gonna get into the chorus okay so for our chorus we're gonna have power chords F which is at the eighth fret okay play a power chord Sixth fret, which is an E flat, body knows D flat, which is the fourth fret. When it comes and back to the E flat, it goes back to F. I know back to E flat, body sin. You got to lose to know E flat. Okay, so from the beginning, we're just going eighth fret, sixth fret, fourth fret. So those three chords. I know what everybody knows Where it comes and where it goes I know it's everybody's sin You got to lose to know how to win You might want to turn off your distortion there. Okay. And you're going to go back and you do first four measures of the intro, then you're going to do another verse and another chorus. Okay, our interlude section is going to be the first chord, just like you're starting the song over. So you're going to play down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So you have. And now you're going to pick, put your pinky on the sixth fret and you do the same thing up up down up up down up up down so now all together you have down up up 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 down and now what we're going to do is take our pinky and we're going to slide it to the eighth fret and we're going to put our first finger in a half bar and our second finger on the second string. Up, up, down, up, up, down. And then you're gonna play the pinky note again at the eighth fret, and then you're gonna slide it to the 13th fret. So all together that would sound like. So that whole thing will sound like. Then 
then you can decide which fingers you want to use but I might use my fourth finger here on the eighth fret and my second finger here on the second string of the sixth fret so you're gonna have first string second string first string second string twice first string second string twice so it sounds like this. Now you want to play the fifth fret on the third string. And that's why I prefer to use these two fingers, unless you want to use these two fingers and then move and then come back. So however you want to do that, that's fine. Then two more times on the second string, and then once on the first string. And then you're gonna go to the second string in the eighth fret. I might move my third finger because I need to bend it the second time. So all together you have. Now you're going to do the same thing you did before. The second one has a little bit of a choked note in it, um, so you could play it like this, but who knows if it was a mistake and they just left it in, but, um, but it would be. Now you're going to come back and do the same little lick you did before. And then just kind of just let it slide down. So it's shorter than the first time. This time you're just going bum, bum, bum. Okay, and then we're back into the chorus. for B flat, third fret for a C, half step higher, fourth fret for a D flat, sixth fret for an E flat, and then for the F minor at the eighth fret, one, two, three, four, ba 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 da ba da ba da 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 da. Okay, there's a little lick in there, and then you're going to go back. If you're the rhythm player and you're not playing lead, you go back and you play B flat again. To C, to D flat, to E flat, and you play F minor. You're still the rhythm player so you're just going back down this time for the B flat you're just gonna lay your first finger over both the fifth and the sixth strings okay so you're gonna have a B flat chord with an F in the bass that's a cool raunchy sounding chord do the same thing on the third fret same thing on the fourth fret same thing on the sixth fret Okay, after you do that, you're going to go back to the first fret, but this time your power chord is going to be an F power chord. So you move these fingers were on the fourth and the third, they have to go to the fifth and the fourth. Now you're just playing basic power chords. F, G, A flat, B flat. Okay, and now we're going to end on a C. Two, Back to I know everybody knows doing a chorus. 
chorus. at the ending use different ways you could play that but if you want to go to a G here and a S D flat there and then put your first finger on C so you have two fingers on the second string and then you're gonna lift your uh, second finger off so you're gonna go like this So anytime you hear that in the song, I think it comes earlier in the song as well, but you could play that. Um, it's pretty cool, very dissonant sounding with the notes really clash. And then they resolves. Okay, towards the ending of the song, there's a couple of licks that are pretty cool that I think would be fun to learn. So after you do this section... to the E flat. One guitar could keep going on the F minor, but the other guitar, the lead guitar, is going to go to the 16th fret. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so we're at the 16th fret on the second string, and we're going to bend that four times, and... Okay, so... Don't release the bend in the middle. Don't do that. So just up. And then the fifth time you come down and you play that note after you bend it. First finger on the 13th fret of the second string. Now you're on the 15th fret and the 13th. And then the same on the fourth string. And then you're going to play a little blues lick going three, two, one. And then your fourth finger is on the 16th fret. And then on the 13th fret, your first finger, just kind of slide it, slide it down. So all together, that's going to sound like. Okay, and then you have the power chord bit, which is the B flat, to the C, to the D flat, to the E flat. You can stop right there if you want to play the lick, and third finger on the fifth string at the eighth fret. Three, one, three on the sixth string, one on the fifth string, three, on the fifth string and first finger on the fourth string. So the first half of that lick. And give that a little vibrato. Now the second half of the lick, go back with your third finger to the fifth string and then play that note and then flatten your third finger to play the fourth string and then go to your first finger to the fourth string. So you have, and then back to your third finger, back to your first finger, and then you're gonna play your third finger and slide to the 10th fret, and then your first finger on the third string twice, back to your third finger on the fourth string 10th fret, so. Second half of that fret, starting where the third finger flattens. Okay, so that whole little bit. First half. Second half. take that third finger and go all the way, same string, to the 15th fret. Play that note once and your first finger 
on the fourth string twice. Sorry, three times. So you have, and then once on the fourth string with the third finger, and then the first finger goes to the third string three times. And then let your third finger cover the fourth, the third, and the second string. And you're gonna bend down, and you can put your first and second finger behind you to help pull down. Kinda cool, kinda sounds like a train. You slide up to the 15th fret. And then you're gonna do your little train. And then you just stop it, okay? That whole lick together. So those are all the different parts for the song that I think are kind of cool and fun to learn. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.